Courtney and Chloe are so annoying, so I left them over there and I'm working out over here. I'm so over them. This week we're training like the Kardashians. And probably end up with really big butts. I don't really like the Kardashians that much. I don't understand why people are so into them. I really like the Kardashians. I appreciate their family dynamic. They're also amazing business people. From what I've seen on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, it doesn't seem like the Kardashians have much of a tolerance for pain. So I don't think that this workout is gonna be that hard. Although I don't really like them, I know that a lot of work goes into keeping their bodies and their image intact. I feel like this could be harder than it seems. My name is Gunnar Peterson and you are in the Beverly Hills gym that I live in pretty much. We're gonna go through some cool full body multi-joint movements that should elevate their heart rates and really fire them up and get them on their path to working out if they're not already on it. Do you think we'll be able to keep up with the Kardashians? Oh, you mean the workout? <laughs> oh, for sure, you'll be killing this. <laughs> Wait. No, no, you will. No, no, you will. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Wait. You'll be fine. Wait. I was really excited to meet Gunnar. He's trained so many celebrities and athletes that I look up to. The first thing he did was he put us on some form of cardio and I was afraid he was gonna leave us on those treadmills all day. The workouts themselves were actually really cool. They were kind of a combination of a little bit of circuit training, weight training, and always involved some cardio. A lot of the workouts were so fun that you didn't feel like you were working out. He had so many really interesting workout moves that you never see and I think a lot of it is connected with this really cool equipment he had that he has engineered. The worst part of working out with Gunner was this little machine that he had us on. It was so tiring. It's so weird because your legs looked like they were stopped. <laughs> they were, I'm sorry. They were, okay. Just I like, stopped in between letters. Make, making sure I saw that. He was completely on us, making sure that we were lifting enough weight, going fast enough, but at the same time, he was encouraging us to drink water all the time and rest when we needed to. A lot of his equipment were super high-tech and game-like. These are gonna light up. It's like a game. Yeah, it's kind of like a game. You kind of get competitive when you're hitting the blocks and everything like that, and when you're just trying to run. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd do the jump midway, but whatever works. Get up there. There it is. Holy cow. Come on, dude. Just a second. Killing it. Big re up there. How do we do today? I thought you guys killed Thank them. You uh, so Thank you so much. Glad you guys made it in. Guys, good luck this week. Where Keep up on three. Get in here. One, two, three. Keep, Keep up. Keep up. <laughs> With the Kardashian. Oh, wow. <laughs> Working out at Gunner's gym was awesome. We got to use all this equipment that I'd never seen before. But kind of transferring that to real life where we were at our normal gyms, working out with normal equipment on our own time, that was a lot harder. We had Gunner's workout yesterday, and today, of course, my muscles are hurting. I'm already over it. I already don't want to go. I was considering staying home, and I'm already late. It required a lot of personal motivation to get up and to do his long workouts without him there making sure that we were doing everything correctly. His workout was basically warm up, big chunk of workout, and then 30 minutes of cardio. I normally just do the cardio. We'd all go to the gym together because it was like, okay, well I can't not go to the gym because there's two other people waiting for me. I totally would have slept this morning if I hadn't already made plans for these two. I was about to not go today, but Salorm said she was going, so. I will say it's a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. It was cool though because I feel like we're the Kardashian sisters. We are. We're kind of matching. I immediately figured out who is who. Michelle is for sure Chloe because she's like the workout guru. One more, one more. I'm Courtney because I'm like second. It's really hard to find motivation when you have a full day of work ahead and you only have 30 minutes left to sleep. Sometimes you just choose sleep. Salorm's Kendall. She's already fit without even trying. <laughs> We're on our last rep now. How's it feel? Almost done. I want pasta. I am not going today. I was at an amusement park till 2 a.m. last night and the last thing I want to do right now is dumbbell lateral raises. I just don't think this is something that's necessarily doable for a normal person's schedule. This morning I got to the gym and both Salorm and Kane had to cancel to do something else. So I had to do the workout by myself and it just made me realize like 
how much easier and more fun it is to work out when you have a team or a trainer with you to push you. I feel like maybe if I was a Kardashian, my body and my appearance would be such a huge part of my career that I have to make time in my schedule to go to the gym. What I learned from this experience is that the people we see on the covers of magazines not only have Photoshop on their side, but also they're paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars for nutritionists, trainers, a whole team of people to help them look the way they do. No normal person has that kind of support. We're just regular people <laughs> trying to get fit. It's much harder than we thought. It's really difficult to like fit it into your regular life. Overall, I'm happy with my body. I don't think I need a Kardashian body to feel comfortable and happy with who I am. As long as I'm fit and healthy, that's all that really matters to me. So we're doing uh, Superman today. Superman? Like, like Superman, uh, like that? Yes, just like that. Okay. No, no, no.